Thank you, Governor. And Tracy, and all my friends that are here, for everything you've done for me, and for my family throughout the years. Tommy, you've been a friend a long time. I look out there and I see and Mike Przicki. Mike, I'm glad you're healthy, man. You're here, pal. I'm really glad, Mike. But look, uh, you know, you've all, uh, it's kind of emotional for me. But look, you were with me my whole career and uh, through the good times and the bad. I want to thank you for everything. To my fellow Delawareans, on behalf of the entire Biden family that's here today, I want to express how much you mean to me and to every one of us. You know, in our family, the values we share, the character we uh, strive for, the way we view the world, it all comes from home. It all comes from Delaware. The state that gave my mother and father a home and a livelihood uh, when they needed it most. The state that made my brother and sister and I, both of whom are here, understand that we could do whatever we dreamed of, whatever that was. And it gave me a chance when I was just a kid to be elect me to, uh, and believed in me and sent me to the United States Senate before going to the county council, after going to the county council, where Jill and I found one another and where she made me strong, as Ernest Hemingway wrote, in all the broken places. And uh, the state that loves our children and our grandchildren and loved our beau, and he so loved you right back. General Barry, when the headquarters was named after Bo, I told General Vavil at the time, it means everything to me, to Hunter, to Ashley, to Jill, to our whole family. But Bo would be the first to say the honor goes to the men and women of the Delaware National Guard and their families who gave so much, were true patriots, defined by the courage of their character. And so it's deeply personal that our next journey to Washington starts here, a place that defines the very best of who we are as Americans. I know, the, I know these are dark times, but there's always light. That's what makes this state so special. That's what it taught me. It taught me the most. There's always light. When I came home after graduating from Delaware and then going on to law school at Syracuse, I came home after law school to Wilmington, to our county. It had gone dark. Dr. King was assassinated. Wilmington had been in flames. The National Guard patrolled the streets. And that turmoil inspired me to become a public defender, a step I never anticipated would lead me toward this improbable journey. Where 12 years ago, I was waiting at the train station in Wilmington for a black man to pick me up on our way to Washington where we were sworn in as President and Vice President of the United States of America. And here we are today, my family and I, about to return to Washington to meet a black woman of South Asian descent to be sworn in as President and Vice President of the United States. As I told Bo on that station waiting for Barack and Hunter, I said, and Ashley, I said, don't tell me things can't change. They can and they do. That's America. That's Delaware. A place of hope and light and limitless possibilities. And I'm honored. I'm truly honored to be your next president and commander in chief. And I'll always be a proud son of the state of Delaware. As Tommy, or better known as Chairman Carper, <laughs> Senator Carper, knows, my colleagues in the Senate used to always kid me for quoting Irish poets. They thought I did it because I'm Irish. I didn't do it for that reason. I did it because they're the best poets in the world. 
And James Joyce, James Joyce was said to have told a friend that when, it's come, when it comes his time to pass, when he dies, he said, Dublin, Dublin will be written on my heart. Well, excuse the emotion, but when I die, Delaware will be written on my heart. And the hearts, hearts of all, all of us, all the Bidens, we love you all. We, you've been there for us in the good and the bad. You never walked away. And uh, I am proud, 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 proud to be a son of Delaware. And I am even more proud to be standing here doing this from the major Bo Biden facility. Ladies and gentlemen, I only have one regret. He's not here because he sh we should be introducing him as president. But we have great opportunities. Delaware has taught us anything's possible. Anything's possible in this country. So God bless you all, and may God protect our troops. Thank you. Jill told me not to become emotional. I'm Jill's husband. <laughs> Rabbi, come Thank here. Thank you. Please welcome Rabbi Michael Beals to deliver the benediction. Just heard uh, President-elect uh, Joseph Biden, very emotional, personal uh, talk uh, as he is leaving Delaware to head to the inauguration, joined by Gloria Borger, Neil Malika Henderson, Arlette Sines. Brianna Keeler. Uh, Gloria, we've seen Joe Biden be emotional before. This was uh, clearly very moving for him. Joe Biden is an emotional man. He